Okay, here we are at the very end of the Sea Otter Classic Cross Country Pro Women, and I've got a trifecta of French Canadians here, I believe. Yep. Hello, ladies. Go ahead and, well, although everyone probably knows you, want to introduce yourself and just tell us how this race went for you today, this unusual race. Well, it was pretty hard, like, each race, I think. But for, for the first race in the warm weather, I think it's pretty good. And I'm excited now to go to Australia and kick more. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Was, being that this race was much more, well, it wasn't much of a cross-country race in that respect, how did you, what was your strategy coming into this? My strategy? Uh, maybe to stay in the group bag because it was super windy, but it was super hard to we have a big pack more in the 20 position, so I try to catch people or to stay with people. Yeah. How did it work out for you today? Uh, it's okay. Yeah. I think I can do better, but I'm pretty happy for the start of this year. Yeah. Did, yeah. did any of you work together today? Well, for a little bit. Catherine yeah. and I worked together a little bit on lap, I'm not sure, three or four. Yeah. Uh, in the hill, we were able to like take little pull together, mm -hmm. and then uh, we separated. But it was cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were also uh, Luna. I mean, your team today was you know, it was the trifecta. Also yeah. You came in. Yep. Uh, were you working with them? Uh, not really. Actually, they kind of dropped me at the beginning. But uh, I'm always happy when my teammates do well. It's fun. I mean, we have a really good working team. The bikes are always working well. We have good sponsors, so it's fun. Uh, to have mentors and girls like Katrin and Andre, well, every one of my teammates that are uh, showing the team and um, making us look good, I guess. So it's, uh, I'm lucky to be with them and I learned a lot, a lot from them. So. Yeah. Rebecca, yesterday you had the top Canadian uh, place. How did it go with you today? How was this trip? Uh, it was really good. I, like, I wanted to do the first pack for like half the most of the time. Like I started and I was with the lead pack for the first lap and also on the second lap I got into the second one with the lead pack with the Katrin and the Georgia and everybody. But then they dropped me in the second lap which was kind of something I expected but then I was slowing down a little bit every lap but still finished up 15. I don't know exactly but I'm really happy. I was Today I was second and uh, third Canadian like you said I was first but last yesterday. But then there was like Kendrill and Haley Smith to get hot. I, I saw her during the race and she seemed to have a really, really good race. So yeah. I'm really happy with my, my race today. It was awesome. really cool. So being in California, it's a little bit warmer today, a little windy. Um, is this kind of perfect weather for you or is this something that you don't really like? you like the Canadian cold? Or... Uh, well, I'm pretty easy. I like every kind of temperature, but this is definitely a beautiful day. And uh, Sea Otter Classic is always a great event. Like there's a lot of action, good atmosphere, a lot of people. So it's uh, fun that it's sunny because people are out there cheering for us. And the energy is great. So it's pretty amazing. I love California. So <laughs> it's good. Well, we all, uh, are you all the three of us, Yeah, the three of us trained a lot this winter in California. So we're kind of used to it. And we really, I think we really love this place. And now I remember you and your VW with your boyfriend. Yeah. And you two, how are you? Where are you training? Uh, I was mostly in uh, Tucson, Arizona for the part for the best part of the winter, and uh, I've been in team camp and stuff like that uh, since uh, Fontana. So for for the last two weeks, the team and I have been on the road in California. But um, going back, well, actually, I also have a sprinter now, like a camper. I was inspired by Reb. Bye, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You got a sprinter. Okay. Well, I got inspired by Reb, so uh, now I'm also going to be spending a little time on the road here. Oh yeah. What about you, Catherine? Well, I trained two months in California with Reb and the guys in the, on the road team. And then I go, I went to Victoria with the national team for three weeks. And then I came back home for a month. And then I arrived on Monday here. So it's pretty warm for me. <laughs> Different from snow, but I'm. it's a beautiful day. Are you going to come back next week? Is this your first time at Sea Otter? It's my first time here, but... Are you all going to Australia? I'm not going. You're not yeah. going? Okay. I'm going. You are and you're not. No. What are you two doing? Uh, my next race is going to be the Whiskey 50 Whiskey Off-Road in nice. two weeks. Uh, so next week I'm not going to be racing. I'll be relaxing, training and getting ready for whiskey. Nice. And I'm going back uh, home in Quebec to rest a little bit and see my family that I haven't seen since January. Then I'm heading to uh, the two World Cups in Europe, uh, Abstack and Laval.
Okay, completely. You're all throwing around the grill. Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, we'll see you down the road somewhere. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.